Hello, this is the NAPCO P1664 alarm system, and in this video I will show you how to wire the M2M communicator to the panel, and how to program a wizard keypad address on the system, and how to go through the synchronization process from the R-Control mobile application. Starting with the wiring of our communicator, we have the positive and negative wires of our radio. We have the red wire, which is the aux positive and goes to the power positive terminal of the alarm panel. Then we have the black wire, which is our aux negative wire, and that goes to the power negative terminal of the alarm panel. Then we have the orange wire, which is the output of our communicator that has to be connected to the keypad green terminal. Then we have the white wire, which is the input of our communicator, which has to be connected to the keypad yellow terminal. The last two wires we have are the green and yellow wires of our communicator. We have the green which is the telco ring wire and goes to the telco ring terminal of the alarm panel. Then we have the yellow wire which is the telco tip wire and that goes to the telco tip terminal of the alarm panel. The next step in the setup is the programming of the alarm system for a wizard keypad address. In order to go into programming of the panel, I will need to enter the six digit installer code, which is 456789. Then press the menu button. Then I need to press the bypass button until you see the activate program. And then I will need to press enter to go into programming. And then I'll need to press the reset button in order to go into the address programming of this system. The first address I need to go to is 1426. In this address I will enter 21. 2 stands for the wizard keypad and 1 stands for partition 1. I will press enter to save. And then I will press the menu button to go to the next menu. I will press 1427 and in this section I will enter 22. Once again, 2 stands for the wizard keypad, but this time the second 2 is for the partition 2. I will press enter to save that, and I'll press the reset button in order to go out of the programming. Now that I'm out of programming of the panel, I can start the synchronization process from the R Control application. I need to press sync with panel. And now the R control application will prompt me to go back into programming and navigate through the keypad addresses with the zones and partitions. I'll press OK. Now I'll go back into programming of the panel. I will enter my six digit installer code, which is 456789, and then I'm going to press the menu button. Then I'll press the bypass until I see activate program. And then I'll press enter to go to the programming. And then I'm going to press the reset button in order to go to the address programming of the panel. The first address that I'll go to is 1426. That way the communicator will be able to read the configuration of my first wizard keypad address. I will press the menu button, and then I'll go to the second address, which is 1427, and that will read the configuration of the secondary keypad address. I will press the menu button again, and the next address that I will go to is 0936, and that will read the zones that I have on partition one. If I press the menu button and go to 0937, that will read the zones that I have on partition 2. Now I'll press the menu button and press reset to exit the programming of the alarm panel. Now that we're done with reading the configuration of the panel, I will be able to arm the system in the away mode by sliding the button to the left. Then I'm going to enter my four digit pin code. And 
and now my system is armed in the away mode. If I want to disarm the system, I will slide the button to the middle and then enter my four digit pin code. That will disarm the system. If I want to arm in stay mode, I will slide my button to the right and once again enter my four digit pin code. And now my system is armed in the stay mode. I'm going to disarm the system and now we're fully disarmed.